this is Dr. Rick Ramos, and uh, I want to give you an overview of the course that you're taking, which is Administration of Justice 121, Basic Law. So I want to talk about first, you're going to go into the portal and log into Canvas, and you should be able to do that already from the DVC website. Then you're going to have to pick your course, and this is kind of slow this morning, but we're getting there. So we're going to be in Adjust 121, and we're going to be in our summer session. So I'm going to click to get in. And from here, this is the overview of the course, and I want to make sure that um, you look at my um, syllabus for summer. There's some important dates here. It's got contact info for me. Uh, if you look over to the left, you have <clears throat> this drop down menu with all of these different things in here. We'll get to that in a minute. But one of the things I want to tell you that you need to pay attention to is my cell phone number. And here it is 510 501 8706. That's my cell phone. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I like students to text me when you're having a problem, I like to know problems early. I also need to make it very clear that I do not accept late work, period. This is a fast-moving class. If you can't stay up, I would say that you need to enroll in the 18-week course. It's slower, easier to deal with. People can drop by 621 if they think it's too much and get a refund. Um, here are your dates. People who have not registered in the course by the first day of class, by the end of the day, you know, I'm going to drop them. If I don't see you in the class uh, for more than 72 hours or so, um, I usually will send an email, but I'm not required to do that. I'll try to get a hold of you, but if I can't get a hold of you, then I'll drop you. Make sure you review the course rules, and you'll see that it's a pretty simple design. This semester, you're going to have assigned readings. I have posted Cyber Cafe, which is a little discussion area where you can talk amongst yourselves and solve problems. I'll try to check in on it also, but it provides opportunities for student-centered learning. <coughs> Excuse me. And so it's important that you're in the course working daily, and I mean daily, in order to be successful. Um, assign readings, 20 to 70 pages per week sometimes more uh, so you have to be committed and you need to go get the book early uh, so that you're taking you're taking the steps towards success right you're also required to participate in discussions but there's only a couple I have cut down a lot of the work in this class to accommodate the six-week schedule again if I don't see you here I have posted for five days you may be dropped for lack of attendance I have breakout of how this is organized, um, how the course content is organized, and we're using the textbook is California Criminal Law Concepts by Hunt and Rutledge. It's Pearson Publishing 2016 or 17 or you won't you know know what's going on. If you have an older book than that, the laws have changed. So make sure you have at least a 2016 version. Here's how I break down the course. This is the work that's expected and Think you can figure it out now I do have a, a list of things that you have to do with some timelines but I think an easier way to look at this it's really simple in this program if you go down here to where it says syllabus on the left and you click on it it's gonna break out all the assignments and it's gonna show you all the due dates this is the whole class so you got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 assignments that are graded over six weeks. And I have all the due dates in here, right? Uh, so it's really easy. The other thing that you can look at, the other way you can look at this stuff is up here, you have home and then you have assignments. And in the assignments area, it's going to really break down the writing assignments. So in this case, you've got um, the first assignment, which is the stall homework assignment, you need to open that immediately and uh, take a look at it. And in that particular assignment, I have 
a video here that tells you how to create case briefs, right? You play that, you read down, you use this. This is the actual case that you'll be briefing. And this is a template that I expect you to use for all case briefs. I have a rubric of what I'm looking for and how I grade it. And there's seven parts to a case brief. And you'll see a movie on that, which I just told you about. And you'll be able to look at it and move forward. But it has uh, seven parts, and I expect it to look a certain way. And uh, when you open this case brief template, it's a Word doc. And you have to use have Word to be successful in this course. And here's how it breaks down, right? This is what the actual uh, format looks like. And you're going to juxtapose the info from the case brief. That means just move it over from here into these this outline. And that's that's what case briefing really is. OK. So getting back to your assignments, you have two types of assignments. The first is the case briefs. And I did not slam you. I usually give my class a lot longer and more in-depth sort of uh, assignments. They usually do like maybe about eight case briefs. You guys are really doing three. The first one is stall. <clears throat> In that case, you're going to write it. I'm going to give you feedback, and you're going to get a second chance to fix it. After that, you only get one trick ponies here. These two, you get one shot at uh, taking these uh, and doing these assignments. <coughs> I have listed out by chapters. You have exams, and you're going to have three exams in this class every two weeks approximately, and then a final video exam where you'll watch some videos and then tell me and choose the proper answers on uh, and fill in certain information on a uh, exam sheet, which will be also in here. You have two discussions, one on, on the types of intent, and the other is an auto incident discussion where one of my students describes uh, something, a crime that occurred, and you're going to start to use the form that, that's used with these writing exercises to practice and get ready for these writing exercises. The writing exercises are pretty fun. They're critical thinking, and what I'm doing is I'm using a shooting simulator, and I'm having you watch a movie, and um, within the system, like you see this big guy right here who has a knife, and you're going to using this format you're going to use that first section in the book to try to find the most appropriate um, penal code section that you would charge him with and I kind of break it down for you this is what I'm looking for five things I need you to tell me what the facts are in the case in other words I need you to break it down and tell me how <clears throat> or what you saw what's a guy look like what's his height what's his weight what weapons do you see what sort of movement is he making? Then I need you to try to tell me what sort of crime. And you're going to look at the penal code section. You're going to list the elements of the crime because by now you'll know what those are once you've read the book and you listen to my lectures. And then you're going to align the elements of the crime with the specific suspect actions. In other words, why would you have arrested him? You're going to take what you had in the facts. You're going to reiterate them here but say how they line up with the crime. You're going to tell me if that crime is a misdemeanor or a felony by looking at the section. You're going to tell me what type of intent, because by now you'll have known what the types of intent are. You have that discussion on it. And so you know specific intent, general intent, transferred intent, or criminal liability. And that's it. You get graded for filling these in. These should all be one good paragraph. So we're talking about two uh, pages of work. Not very hard. And that's really it for your assignments. But let's start to look at your uh, the modules and how these things are organized. So in the modules, what I'm doing here is uh, I have Cyber Cafe at the top. This is where you're going to be able to go in and you'll be able to, to, to um, speak with your fellow students about um, issues in the course. And you just start, uh, just reply to this first one and say, hey, I have a question about this. What do you guys think? And that allows you to you know, go back and, and, uh, and discuss a particular topic or, you know, a problem you're having with a case brief and compare notes and it helps you learn amongst yourselves because that's what you do when you really have a job, right? Um, this is just instructor uh, bio info. You can read that on your, yourself. But I have the course divided up. Uh, I did do an orientation when this was in um, um, uh, 
D2L, but I'm going to get rid of those and I'll be posting this one so that you have access to it there again. California codes, I put links to the uh, uh, penal codes and the penal codes are already available for you if you want. You just click up here on California codes and so instead of having to buy a penal code, they're all right here. The one that we're going to use mostly is going to be the penal code. And it, by using the penal code, you can look up and uh, see crimes and punishments. And you can actually look these things up. So if we were looking for something like um, <clears throat> where a person was, let's say, um, let's try to look for something pretty simple here. How about robbery? So we click on robbery, and there's the elements of robbery right here. 211. Felonious taking a personal property in the possession of another from the, the person in immediate presence or against his or her will accomplished by means of force or fear. So these are all things that are there for you to assist you in being able to um, work through the course. In the modules also, when you look here, I have the um, chapter one with a study guide and assignments. And I have a PowerPoint lecture. I have, uh, excuse me, a PowerPoint for it, the book. I have a lecture that I have created. And I have these lectures that help walk you through these different um, topics. And most of these are posted on my YouTube page. But you're able to go in and <clears throat> actually watch the lectures. And then that assists you with your study. So again, it's really smart for you to go you know, I say here June 19th to July 3rd, hustle through this stuff. You have a lot of chapters. You've got six chapters to go through. Every chapter is going to have lecture information. I have videos that help you, and you just go chronologically down. And uh, once you get to the sixth and you're done, then go ahead and take the test. And you should be ready to take the test. So uh, if you have questions, I would say it'd be best to post them in the uh, cyber cafe that's a good place to, to start and you can certainly contact me uh, we do have access to things like um, confer now which you'll see down here in the left hand corner and confer now is basically a video conferencing software that we could use to communicate if we really need to I don't have anything scheduled right now but I can um, do that or you can say hey I'd like to meet with you online and we can discuss some things so hopefully this video gives you a good idea by like I said your more, most important thing is the syllabus here it gives you your due dates of what's going on and you can kind of ignore everything else just use the syllabus keep it simple because that has your assignments your discussions and your quizzes and everything that's going to be graded are, are there um, the modules are the next best important thing because the modules really help organize your study right and so starting with module one you're just going to go down finish and then move down to module two and you're using your book um, and your homework assignments are in here also everything's here if you want to go down this way but as i said using the syllabus as a backup is really important it can really help you and uh, i know we're going to be running fast but i'm just telling you that you know i am here for you and uh, I think you can be successful in this class. Students who have taken this class in the six-week mode have really enjoyed it. And uh, let's have a great summer. And good luck.